Hey guys, welcome back to The Witcher. Uh, currently, The Witcher is slightly modded. And my controller setup for the key bindings is a little bit glitchy. Maybe it's the controller uh, interface input, as you can very well see. Yeah. It's to do with movement and talking. Uh, let's try the keyboard. The movement for the keyboard is a little bit better. And so is the camera work. So let's go with this for a little bit. Let's talk to the dwarf, the blacksmith. Yes! Alright, I already talked to him a little bit. Uh, but not these, not these dialogue choices. Who are the Skoyatal? Terrorists or firebrands you'd call them. They're fighting for the rights of non-humans. Scoyatel is elven for squirrels. Called that due to the squirrel tails that dangle from their caps. Will I find any around here? You aiming to catch me off guard or just nosy? In any case, I'll not answer you. Fine. I wouldn't want to cause you trouble. Let's talk about something else. Yes? Okay. Why do the locals persecute non-humans? Why do pricks go in cunts? It's the natural order of things. Humans have always hated dwarves and elves. Not for me to know why. I'm not sure I understand. Then ponder it on your own. Or discuss it with that maggot brog. I don't talk to strangers about these things. Fine. Yes? Let's talk about weapons. Well, I'm no specialist, though I can forge swords. Bring me three different oars and I'll forge you an excellent steel sword. I'll look around for some more. Another thing. For 35 orans, you can have this excellent sword, Grease. It's not exactly, uh, legal, but, uh, I really need the gold. Uh, sure. Why not? This Grease improves the quality of rusty weapons. It's lard and some other ingredients. Army life. Less off. Okay. Let's talk to some other people. We've already talked to uh, the herbalist. And let's go back inside. There should be some people we need to talk to in here. I already opened up my ability to store items. So who else do we have to talk to? Who wants to get Finally, uh, someone sensible here. And you are? Luvarden, merchant. Of those Luvardens. Of those or not, I sense you have a job for me. Unfortunately. My friend disappeared in the cave beneath Vizima's walls. You think he's dead? I don't know. I'll pay you 200 orns to rescue him or provide for a decent burial. Will you take the job? All right. All right. My friend tried evading the quarantine to enter Vizima. Why through the cave? We heard goods were smuggled into Vizima that way. I'll do what I can. Be careful. My friend has dealt with monsters before. If he's dead, surely danger follows. Alright, is there anything else that you would have to... Any news? Uh, show me your wares. Okay, he has quite a bit of stuff. Silver ring, a necklace, a solder given, solder given, and nothing with any like valuable stat on them from what I can see. Mm, just valuables, and then what do we got here? Flints. Now that's used for saving, so we'll we'll buy some of those. And what is this? Medium strength alcohol, daisies for gift, tulips gift, strong alcohol, high price, amber. Alright, that's fine. Okay, who else do we need to talk to? Let's talk to you. Hmm. Three 
ounces of optimum matter, a drop of mercury solution. Uh, oh, sorry, I got lost in thought. Greetings. Greetings. I'm Cogstein, alchemist. Geralt, witcher. A witcher? How much would you ask for an opportunity to examine your body? I don't think you could afford it. You would be doing a great service to science. All right, fine. Though I perceived you as someone who valued reliable knowledge. I respect science and scientists, alchemists too. And I guess I expect the same in return. I see. Well, hmm. Maybe you can agree to a post-mortem then. Keep talking and I might change my mind. Regarding alchemists, that is. All right, all right. I'm sorry. Okay. Um. Hmm. I forgot what I was going to say because this guy looks like a monkey, but, you know, this guy looks like a monkey. They say you need ghoul blood. Do you have any? I'll come back when I've gathered some. I need that blood for my studies. Be quick about it. Is that it? Why does it just drop like that? Come on. What brings you here? You don't look like a local. I live in Vizima, but I'm just returning from a great convention of alchemists, pyromancers, and geomancers in Oxenfort. Wonderful city, which uh, a cradle of science. I don't doubt it. Did the convention reach any specific conclusions? It was an incredible experience. I presented my dissertation on... Specific? Uh, conventions aren't meant to be specific. Then I'm not sure I see the sense. Science is like a great river, full of currents, whirls, and treacherous shallows. A single raftsman can never know every secret of the river. He must sail to the harbor and share his knowledge with other raftsmen. And get drunk and spend his last money on whores. I think I see the point now. Hmm. Science is like a river. Uh, sorry, I got lost in thought. You were talking about returning to Vizima. Ah, uh, yes. Because of this quarantine, I'm losing time in this inn. I have extremely important research waiting. And what am I doing sitting in this dump and drinking alcohol? Badly distilled alcohol. I've sent a message to my friend, another alchemist. He is my only hope. Hopefully he will send me a pass. Hmm. Well, I wish you luck. Thank you. They must admit me. They must. Do you ask everyone for permission to examine or dissect them? Of course not. But you're a mutant. A scientifically wrought improvement. Something unnatural. That explains it. Don't take offense. I'm merely curious. Need any help from a witcher? I do. Check the notice I hung outside. I wanted to ask you about alchemy. Finally, someone worth talking to. Here I thought the locals had no interests beyond their daily concerns. I'm not exactly a local. And think about it. If the locals were all interested in alchemy, they wouldn't have much need for you. Ha! Typically short-sighted. Witcher, alchemy is the mother of all sciences. And do you know why? For it allows us to understand the world. All that surrounds you is none other than the alchemy you strive so dutifully to deride. Alchemical processes transpire in your body at all times. They allow you to eat, breathe, and excrete. What's more, they are responsible for your thoughts and feelings. Alchemy is life. We need to change the subject before the peasants decide to burn us at the stake. One cannot shut the mouth of science. But fine, what do you wish to know? Mm. How do you obtain alchemical bases? You need equipment to obtain the correct distillate. I myself use an atonator coupled with an alembic and equipped additionally with a rectifying column and a copper cooler. And if I don't have a coupled atonator handy? I see. Field work. Hmm. Olaf must have some decent vodka or spirit that could serve as an alchemical base. 
Where do I get ingredients? If you wish to obtain components yourself, you'll need books containing drawings and descriptions of ingredients derived from both plants and animals. Peddlers are your other alternative, but they'll rip you off. When I require monster tissue or organs, hmm, well, I hire a witcher or a hunter. Hmm. I'm interested in formulae. Ready-made formulae are rare and difficult to acquire, so I encourage you to experiment, modify recipes you already have. Most people underestimate the value of using the empirical method in science. I think I've heard enough. But we've only just begun! Farewell. Alright, he I will not play dice. has a job for us. Another day, perhaps. A fine opportunity to recover your losses. Tried that, that's why I'm broke. What can I get you? Uh, let's see what you have. Uh, Timmy and Strong Dried Food restores vitality. Strong alcohol. Grease, high quality base for blade coatings. Mm. Beer, weak alcohol. Weak alcohol is used specifically to help with uh, con drinking contests. So we'll grab some of those. Because we could attain a free book if we wanted to here by talking to a drunk and challenging him to a drinking contest. But we already have the book. And the knowledge pertained into it. Mm. And I will not let's go ahead dice. and talk sure, to you. What can I do for you? He was a little racist to us just a moment ago. Uh, well, off camera. So let's go ahead and go through the rest of the stuff. I'm a witcher. Bah, by the eternal fire. Have any work for me? No. Ask the Reverend. Okay. I'll speak with him. What can I do for you? Why the gloom? I don't talk to strangers. Do you for five orans? For that, I talk to a bar guest all day. Alright then. The plague was devastating. People died in droves. The wailing lingered for three moons. If not for the Reverend, we'd all have perished. No wonder we're wary of strangers. You don't know what it's like when the plague takes your family. The Reverend prayed all day to the Eternal Fire, taking no sustenance. His penance freed us from sin and strengthened our faith. We began by cleansing our homes of sin and filth. We gathered it up, and by the next day, all our foulness was buried or gone. The Reverend then spoke to all who remained. You have done well cleansing your households of sin. I know it was difficult, I know they be kin, but the eternal fire sent pestilence on them as punishment for their sins. You are pure, you shall live. And we believed him, then went outside. The frost was biting, but we did our penance, crawling round the village, praying at the five chapels. The next day the village was quiet, as if all were asleep. Fewer have fallen sick since. An edifying tale. Thanks. What can I do for you? I'm looking for someone who stayed at this inn. Look around the tables. But at night, guests retire to their rooms. Return tomorrow if you must talk to them. All right. I'll look around. What can I do for you? All right. I guess that's it. It's time I was on my way. Hmm. Uh, I believe that's all that we sh could be able to talk to. The peasants well, and the... Witch has it. I own me. Uh, there's a merchant right here. Humans and non-humans both well. pay the double poll tax. <laughs> a scandal. Who wants to get slapped? We already talked to Shani. Fat Fred, I believe he's you one of the like fist fighters. Alright, let's go outside.
time to explore. We can go out in the gate. See what's out here? Oh, that one's locked. Beast is struck again. No! The phantoms that serve her. Damn those the downs. How about this one? Now we can go out of this one and collect some herbs. Uh, can we do anything with the cat? No. Uh, another weird design flaw. Uh, collecting herbs like this instead of just actually picking them up. That's alright. Alright, let's see if there's anything around here. I'll pick up some of this stuff. Doesn't seem like there's much people in the ways to talk to. Ah, oh, my stomach hurts, cursed witch! Ugh. And for some reason those are locked. Ah, oh, my stomach! Stomach hurts, cursed witch! Door oh. to Abigail's hut. Whoever Abigail is. You, apparently we can talk to you. Laundry basket. Red shawl. No, we don't need that. An old chest. An invitation to magic. I've already read this. Stand for his dust. Uh, played for coat. Saltpeter. All right. I wonder what this man-shaped doll is for. Uh, food. Do we need food now? Well, let's uh, carry on with useful things and talk to Abigail. Oh my, a witcher. Welcome. What happened to the man outside? It was his own fault. Many come to me with pitiful fantasies I disdain to fulfill. They take me for a whore when I am but a witch. I'll remember that. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not all bad. The sinner will recover. Is that it? What do you want? Okay, uh, rest a bit. Uh, let's show me contents. A ribbon. A book, field plants, swamp monsters, book of animals. Uh, what else do we got here? Specter oil. Increased damage for specters. Let's go ahead and buy that. A chemical paste. Alchemist powder, alchemy ingredient, phosphorus. Uh, let's see, does this go in our, yep, alchemy pouch. Alchemy ingredient, yeah, let's go ahead and buy some of that. Strong alcohol, high quality potion based. A book about bogress. Alchemic uh, ingredient, let's buy that, yep. Buy some of that as well. And just checking up on stuff. Okay. What do you want? I found your notice. Excellent. Do you have the Barghest skulls? Not yet. Hurry then. What do you want? Can I 
ask you something? If you must. Do you have any magic against phantom hounds? What about your sword? I heard witchers carry two. A silver blade for monsters, and steel for humans. Both are for monsters. Unfortunately, I lack the silver one. I know of an ointment. When it coats your blade, you'll cause grievous harm even to specters. The formula will cost you 30 orins. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. You'll need nasen salt, ganatsid's acid, winestone, and lard. I can sell you these ingredients. Thanks. You can replace the nasen salt with hellebore petals if you wish. All right. Uh, I know it says that uh, I don't have a silver sword, but I do. Like I said, this is slightly modded. Bear fat. Limestone. Yeah, we wanted to start ourselves off a little bit, a little bit more well off than normal. Because I don't know what I'm getting myself into. This game is a little bit old school for me. And I just want to make sure I'm ready. I want to take in all of what this game has to offer before I uh, get too deep into it. Okay. Because the mechanics, the, the gameplay, the, the design flaws and choices uh, has me a little intimidated when it comes to this game. Which is the reason why I was basically hmm, apprehensive. Cursed plague stopped our transport outside Vizima. Me neither. Let's play slitting throats instead. How about the beast comes for you? The beast scares folks so they pee themselves. Where's my cat? My dog spits blood. Are you my uncle? Oh, you got a sugar doll? Door to abandoned house. I'm a salamander. I don't want to be a god. Me neither. These kids probably live in these abandoned houses. Oh. Oh, what do we got here? Alright, let's check the sack. Oh, bones. Now people have died in here. Must have been due to the plague. Check this abandoned house. Clothing rack. No, uh, we don't need those. Okay, Royal Huntsman. Let's go ahead and talk to him, shall we? Terrible time. Greetings, Witcher. I'm the local hunter. Greetings. Wonder how I know you? No? So be it. What do you want? I'm looking for witcher's work. Since you're here, a monster supposedly haunts the lake shore, devouring peasants late getting home. A ghoul may have made its lair in the crypt. How much for each? You witchers do nothing disinterestedly. Kill a monster, bring me proof, and I'll reward you generously. Did the peasants say anything more about the lakeshore monster? Just that it hunts by the lake at night and kills people. What does the creature from the crypt look like? Perhaps a standard ghoul, but who knows? See for yourself. How much do you collect for a drowner? It's my professional secret. Come on, we're in the same profession. It seems so. So, how much for a drowner? Depends, but on average, 80 orins. I've never come close to that. 
I knew something was wrong with those prices. Calm down. Progress wherever you look. Only witchers, the relics they are, still work for a pittance, while being called freaks by those they do favors for. A fair day's wage for a fair day's work. What was that? Nothing, nothing. Okay, apparently, even though he has amnesia, even though he can't remember who he is, he remembers his prices for killing monsters. Take care. Well. Eternal Fire Shrine. What does that do? Uh... Unaware. Hmm. The controller seems to be a little bit more still still apprehensive. Okay. Let's check the map. Shall we? Where are we? Are... Does it have a oh right, right there? That's a crypt. That's Abigail's hut. Reverend's house. Cave beneath the city walls. All right, let's let's take a take a detour this way. These children have nothing to say. And can we can we blow open the door? Do we have a sign equipped? Apparently we can't cast it out here. I'm not playing that. Did all these just regrow? I believe so. Okay. Let's go north this way. See what we find. Enter new region crossroads. Can we access our weapon? No, I didn't want to access the journal. Access the weapon. Oh, no. Seems to be some input lag and we're still in town. Eternal Fire Shrine, what do these do? Wish there was a better way of collecting these herbs. That's quite all right. Crypt entrance. Witcher's medallion. Set the medallion to detect the nearby monsters or magic. If detect magic, the medallion will vibrate. Set the medallion to me. To set the medallion, meditate, and open the inventory. What would I like to do? Form ritual of magic. Alright, we're going into the crypt entrance. See what we're gonna do next. 
Uh, but it is a good stopping point for the episode. Now let me go ahead and collect more of this. Collect more of the, these ingredients before I completely end it. Now you guys stay furry. Comment and subscribe if you so feel like it. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye.